Hello JRPG enthusiasts, and welcome to another episode of our Let's Play of Xenoblade Chronicles 2. In today's Let's Play, we're going to be looking for Nina and Drotchmarch in the forest. So uh, let's get started with that. First, let's go to this collection come coin, on, see if we can find some treasure. Ooh, we got some wood, some confusion ivy. Nice. I think we have to proceed along this main tree area here. Um, I did some previous leveling before, so we're not going to have to target every single enemy, uh, but we'll we'll still kind of go after a few of them. Like, let's see how we can do against two enemies at once here. Okay, time to take you down. Yeah. All right. Ha, got Wait to get this anchor shot available. Our emotions are in tune, right? Anchor shot. Ha. There we got anchor shot. That one went down pretty easily. I don't know if the other one ran away or if he just no longer okay. became interested, Time but we'll take, take him out too. Ha! Let's see. Anchor shot. Are in two, Rex. One more anchor like shot. Yeah. We'll finish him off with a sword bash. Now, to boast, but that was spectacular, right, Grumps? Remember, Rex, pride comes before a fall. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't honestly go that far, Rex. That was uh, well, it was not your best battle. But um, something I noticed in some of our previous let's plays is that I was doing a little bit too much to try to manually dodge enemies, and it seems like your agility stat takes care of that for you. It'll do the dodging for you. You should only really proceed behind enemies if you want to. Uh, take advantage of extra damage on skills or you know, certain skills it's more advantageous to do that but um, I realized that because I was doing that we were taking a lot of damage because the enemies would still hit us while we were trying to maneuver behind them so I'm gonna try to stay up front unless you know I'm dealing with a particular enemy and I need to utilize some of those skills um, what have we here? in combat. Ooh another collection point. Ooh forest stone I haven't seen that one before Let's see, you'll notice there's rarity for each item. The white seem to be common items. <laughs> All in one piece. Oh, and we're Old Ghost Road. Let's see what we can find here. Any evidence of Nia? What's that sound? I felt a ripple in the ether. It feels like a driver is using a blade in battle. I'm certain of it. Let's go. Okay. Alright, if that's Nia, let's go see if we can help her out. Yup. My lady, leave this to me. I'm not just gonna abandon you, Zuma. What? We're here to help, Nia! Rex! What are you doing here? My lady, now's our chance. Let's attack. Alright then! Alright, we finally got some party members again. Before you help Nia out, let me explain a little bit about how to fight with multiple drivers. Okay, this will be useful. Alright, that icon is a weakness. So it's weak to fire, that's good, because Pyre is a fire type. Um, we can get party members back on their feet. When a driver's HP hits zero, they'll be incapacitated, okay. So we need to have at least one section filled in the party gauge. Um, as long as we have that, we can move over to someone who's incapacitated, press A to revive them. Alright, great. Good to know. Hopefully we won't need to use that that much. Um, and our party members can revive us. Alright, also good to know. So we, we don't have to worry too much about dying, but we still don't want to do it. Um, blade combos. Let's see. Try to blade combo going from an element, a fire element special to a water element one. First trigger of Pyra's level 1 special. Give the word and I will unleash my fire. Alright, let's do that. Pyra, come on. Come a little closer. Alright. To link a blade combo, you'll need to use a special one level higher than the previous one. I'll bump up Nia's special gates to level 2. Okay. So, also important to know. Um, and ZL will trigger it, so let's make sure I'm on ZL, and we'll do it. Me 
Why not? Did we get it? Looks like we did. Steam explosion. Wasn't as cinematic as I was expecting. Let's get behind it. Get some extra damage with that sword bash. Oh, and I can do a spinning side attack. Let's recover a little bit of health. Let the health go. Alright. Pyro, leave, leave them for a little bit. Get the word, and I will unleash my fire. I'm still getting stronger. Ah. So why you guys even? Well, I guess that's a stupid question. Indeed. Seriously, it's good to see you, and you're all right. Right back at you. Hey, by the way, what happened to the big guy who saved us? The Titan. Oh, she's in for a surprise. Are you talking about me? Wait, what? How? That's sort of a long story. Let's get somewhere we can rest. I'll tell you all about it then. Yeah, right, Rex has a lot of explaining to do. My lady? Sure. Lead the way. I see. So you two are off to Elysium. Listen, I never thanked you properly. For saving us, I mean. Dromark said that you carried us all the way here. We owe you our lives, Titan. No need to thank me. After all, you were the ones who saved Rex. Don't mention it. So, you Titans can regenerate. Pretty handy. This isn't something just any old Titan can... You can retire that line now. Excuse me. I'd like less of that attitude. If you had listened to me and declined that reckless job to begin with, we wouldn't be in this mess. Take a nap, you said. Like I was some kind of doddery old man. Okay, okay, I get it. I'm a terrible disappointment. Look how sorry I am. Can you not muster even a shred of sincere remorse? Sorry, but I can't. Hmm, what? If I hadn't taken the job, they'd have got their hands on Pyra. Rex. I couldn't let that happen. No way. They can never take her. Uh, hmm. Everyone's asleep except for Pyra? Hello there. Still awake, I see. I can't seem to sleep. It's good to see you again, Azurda. Likewise. Though you've changed a lot since last we met, Pyra. I suppose I have. A lot's happened. Yes, it has. I wanted to thank you for saving my dear Rex. And I need to know what you told him. Is that what you really intend? Yes. It is my true desire. I see. Well, that's good enough. I have no reason to doubt you, Pyra. That said, I do have one other goal now. Jin and Malos. I cannot allow them to continue with their current course. The fate of an Aegis never changes. Right. And you're going to get Rex mixed up in this? I'm not blaming you. No matter how hard you tried, that boy would find some way to get involved. Ah. 
I see half your core is missing. Seems you've taken on quite a burden. Azurda, I... Promise me you'll take care of Rex. I will. and shine Rex right then we should probably try and find a town or something does anyone have any idea where we are this is Gormot a province of the Adanian Empire you must have seen the Gormot Titan before yeah only from a distance though we're somewhere around its belly so this is Gormot huh Hang on a second. Nia, your ears. Are you Gormotti? Well done, genius. Took you long enough. Gormot is the land of my lady's birth. Wow. Well, that's reassuring. If we want to find a town, the first step is to get out of this forest. Keep heading up, and we'll hit the plain soon. The town's that way. Brilliant. Let's get going. All right. So next step is going to the town. Can we... I mean, that was a lot to unpack there, so... I mean, we, we kind of gotten vibes that Pyro was a new uh, Gramps before, and that some of these characters is not the first time meeting, that maybe hundreds of years ago they interacted or something happened between them. Rex seems completely oblivious to all this, though, so... It's curious if he forgot, if he wasn't involved in those events, you know, what? what's the reason for that? I have no idea. Let's see, torches, alright, we're probably getting close to a town, we're seeing some evidences of civilization, we have some gates, some fencing, some lights, that's a good sign. Now, they mentioned before too that we're on the Titan's belly or close to it? I wonder if it if it's unlike Gramps where we're not on its back, we're actually, you know, it's maybe lying on its what back and we're on the other side. Oh, let's make sure we get all of our wood. Yeah, I have a lot of questions going going this far. I want to really know where we are. I want to learn more about this, uh, this empire. And hopefully, town will have some answers for us. Oh, and we can climb this tree. That's interesting. I guess the vines are helping us uh, climb up. This is just a massive tree structure. So there's a treasure trove, but it's different than normal. The blade indicates that you'll need to use the help of your blade's field skills, but even if you can't open the treasure chest right away, there's no despair. If you develop your blades and help them acquire field skills for the infinity chart, someday you'll be able to see what's inside it. So I have a feeling we can't open up this chest. You're all mine. Calm your mind. Yeah, okay, so we need focus one. Can we get it? I don't think so, but let's let's give it a try. So I think we could check our affinity chart by going here to characters, going to Pyra. Yep, looking at her affinity chart. Um, and let's see. My power yeah. ever grows. We have Drotchmarch. Does he have the ability to do any of this stuff? Let's see, we can step inwards and step outwards. So let's step outwards and let's see what, uh... Increase trust. So we need that to unlock, I guess, any of these skills. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna have to come back from here. I'll try to remember this and, uh... You know, if we have time, we'll come back and open up that treasure chest. For now, let's move on. We'll try to find the town up ahead. I wonder if all the townspeople look like Nia. He, you know, Rex mentioned the ears, so I wonder if that's a giveaway of people from this Grimont Empire. Let's see, are the enemies different over here? They look a little bit different. These are some sort of 
centipede uh, slug like things. Rex, let's go. Let's see if they're any more powerful. No, no, no. Wow. Cheers for that. I'm Push up. Down. Make and it. Well, poison is not an element I am a fan of. Just in RPGs in general, usually it's come out, hard come to out. cure. Flora heals an aching soul. Okay, I guess Drouchmart's botany skill went up. I have no idea what that'll be used for, but watch yourself, Rex. You put your feet up over there. All right, Grumps. Let's finish this enemy off. Ha! Ha! Yeah! Our emotions are in tune, Rex. My thoughts exactly. Ooh, and we got a rare muscle belt. So I'm just amazed by the complexity of all these systems. You're just seeing every other, you know, we're already three hours in or so into the game. We're still getting tutorials to teach us how to do everything. Okay. Ooh, a spider. Time to take you down. Go get him, Rex. I kind of wonder yeah. how deep into the battle system we are. I mean, I'm sure oh, we're going to get new go. skills and we're going to get we'll new, sure. you know, just new abilities team. along the way. But I wonder how many more just entire systems we're gonna encounter. They seek a fight, they shall get one. Ha! Our emotions are in tune, Rex! I like your attitude. Rigid Vess. Alright. Oh, we have a fallen tree here, so I guess this is another field skill. Maybe Pyra can help us out. I call upon the power of fire. I guess she can. That was useful. Burn that tree right up. Okay, bring it on. Ha! Yeah! So I guess Our the pawn archers are weak to Salvage electricity. Thank you. That means a lot to me, Rex. Okay, bring right, we might as well take out some additional enemies here. Ha! Ha! Let's keep this up this to know for sure. Mitch, Mitch, I like your stronger. attitude. It's amazing how much quicker enemies are thanks to Nia. You know, just having an additional person helping us fight makes a come huge out, difference. Come out. More crystals. I wonder what we're gonna even use all these for, but I don't want to leave them. All right, that flying enemy we're gonna avoid. I think we're really close to the town. Oh, uh, all right, finally, a beautiful shot. We can see the the titan in this landscape. This titan must be tremendous. Thus far, we've seen titans with towns oh, on their backs, goodness. but never like a country. A wonderful view. Spectacular indeed. Yeah, this is great. Especially after slumming it on Grumps' back for so long. <laughs> it served you well enough. Over there, that's Torigoth, biggest city in Gormont. I'll accompany you as far as the city. After that, I'm afraid you're on your own. Oh, on our own? Of course. I would have thought even you'd know why I can't be seen with you. Because you're supposed to be one of them. I haven't known them very long. But you know, they're still my crew. Your crew? Even after they tried to kill you? That's as may be. But they're the closest thing I have to a family. Nia? Right, let's go. All right. Oh, and we can... We have a change time menu now. We'll explore that in a later episode. So, that was pretty eventful. We finally found the town. Next episode, we'll revisit that. 
Um, but I wanted to just take a few minutes, talk a little bit about the concept we just got in that last uh, that last cutscene. So Nia was talking about how, you know, even though she wasn't part of her crew very long, that you know they're like family to her to some extent, and so she can't be seen with Rex because, for whatever reason, it it appears Rex is their enemy for the at least for the time being. And you know, I think that's an interesting dynamic. I initially, when we were first playing, I, I wasn't quite sure where Nia fit in. She, I didn't know if this was a, like a one-time job, if what she was hired for. But you know, maybe crews have a little bit more of a a familial bond, a little bit more of like a kind of lasting quality to it. I'm curious to see what other crews are like in this in this game too. You know, is this with everyone? Do does everyone have a kind of crew that they're a part of? Um, and I think that really lends itself well to what we're developing too, because we're going to eventually get party members, you know, at least from the systems that we've seen in the game so far. So, you know, we're going to develop relations with our blades, with other team members. And, you know, I wonder what sort of camaraderie will come about by that. Is it, you know, is there some sort of lasting bond uh, just based on being a crew member on a team? You know, what, where does that fall in with everything so I'm very curious to see how this game proceeds um, and I'll just be honest I have a feeling that Nia will join us uh, perhaps on a permanent basis a little bit later I can't see her not uh, the game's made such a big point about her the bond that she's developing with Rex with even a little bit of how she, you know I see almost her and Rex are a little bit outside from the original crew with with um uh, with Malos and and Jin, you know, they like there seemed a little bit of a gap forming at the beginning where they were almost like making fun of them, you know, when they were approaching the ancient ship. So I have a feeling Nia will definitely be a permanent party member at some point going forward. Maybe she'll join us after this town. Maybe we have to wait a little bit, uh, fight Jin again, fight you know that old crew again before we get her. But I have a feeling that she's going to be a permanent party member. Anyway, uh, I think we're out of time for today, so join us on the next episode where we'll go into town and uh, continue advancing this story forward. So thanks again. Have a great rest of your day. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. You know The channel's been growing at a pretty rapid race, rate these last few days, so uh, let's definitely keep it up. Thanks, and enjoy the rest of your day. Take care. Bye.